Hi, this is Mike. Welcome back to the Moodle project. The goal of this project is to install the infrastructure to run an instance of Moodle on a Linux server. This is just another step in that process. In this session, we'll install Apache web server. We'll use PuTTY as we have been. It's free. And we'll log in through SSH. account that we had set up in a, a previous session. And we'll need to log in this route as well. We'll use the uh, command yum install HTTP service the D refers to the, whenever you see a D after a service, it's all it's always related to the, or specifies daemon or daemon. It means that it's a process that runs behind the scenes. So I had previously installed uh, Apache server on this, on this droplet. So some of the dependencies have already been satisfied. And you'll probably see more. Go ahead and say yes. And there, there we have it. Apache web server has been installed. Now, in order to ensure that service starts on reboot, we'll type in a check config, type in a service name, and then on. That will ensure that the service starts on reboot, and then we'll start the service. There's three commands that you can use with, there's probably more, but the three common ones that you can use with the service command is start, stop, and as you can see that failed because it wasn't started or restart. This will fail and then, it should fail and then start. Yeah, so I should have just used start. That's okay. So there's an area that could not reliably determine a service fully qualified domain name using localhost for server name. We'll go ahead and go into the config file, and config is under root, etc, http, long our typo there. So it's in the, the conf file is in conf, the conf folder, we'll see if you can it. And there it is. So we'll use by. And we'll search for a server name. A sensitive. So here we go. So this is this is simply a directive in uh, Apache web server. So we'll go ahead and, and just add this directive. Currently it's, it's commented out. And since we don't have a fully qualified domain name, we'll have to use our IP address that we the IP address of our of our server. So there it is. I just opened another there's another window of PuTTY, and there's the IP address right there. So it's 198.199. Okay. So we'll exit, insert mode, go to command mode, type W, and that'll just write. There's a couple other things here I want to show you. Let's 
scrolling down. Here's the document root. This is this as it says here. This is the directory out of which you will serve your documents, and this can change. You can have it anywhere you want. The default is root var www.html. We'll see that a little bit later, and then also let's take a look at let's do a search for listen. Here's the, typically web servers listen on port 80, and you can change it if you want to. It's just FYI, we won't need to be changing it for this particular project. Let's go ahead and make sure we're in command mode, and we'll go ahead and write, and then quit. We'll need to restart the server up those changes. And we should notice that error is no longer with us. Oh, there. So I just cleared that up. So now let's just go CD to the document root. And let's create an index HTML file. And in here we'll simply put, we're going to insert mode. This is an HTML file, so let's just put a header, header one, and with the typical hello world. What we can do here is instead of, we'll have to get out of insert mode, go to exit, or Escape, which takes us in command mode, and we'll just write. Well, we'll just write quit. We'll get out of that out of that file. So now we'll open a web browser and simply type in IP address, and there we go. That shows this gives us proof that our web server is actually running. That's about it for this session. We'll see you in the next one.